So hello and welcome! Today we're gonna make this wonderful vinyl record and yeah, let's, let's get started! So you start of course with a new document. You want to delete the default cube, add a circle. You might have to turn on extra mesh in the add-ons uh, tab in order to get them. And of course this thing is currently not filled so we're just gonna tap and we're just gonna fill this thing. And what we're gonna do is make a little inset so we have a little hole in the middle. And of course we're gonna delete this face as we now have a little hole in the middle. So something which of course we also need is a little cut here. So we're gonna make this one. This will be the place where we're gonna put our wonderful logo or band name or something else. But in this case, we're just gonna make this one red. Also should probably change here so we can see something. Um, should probably make another one, which we of course gonna assign to everything else. So we actually have separation here. So something which of course we also need is a little line in the middle and at the end, which of course we're gonna select these two, make a new material and assign it. This one we're gonna make black and we're gonna change the roughness a little bit. Also should probably go out of that here. So let's go and make the main part, wonderful lines on the middle part, this thing here, which of course in this case material too. So let's open a new window, go into shade editor and let's start working. So first we're gonna start with a wave texture because we kinda need ranks. So we're gonna connect that. And as we see, we don't really have ranks. So first we're also gonna add a little thingy texture content mapping. Uh, you can enable it in the node wrangler. We're gonna change it to object. And you're gonna change the wave texture to rings because well, we need rings. Still it doesn't really show up as rings because we have to change it from X to spherical, and then we have some rings. Of course, they are currently way too big, so we're just gonna change the scale to something like ridiculously nice, 35. So we can see we already have these lines that later on the spiny thing will go. Let's also increase the detail, so it's a little bit more higher quality. Maybe also give it like some detailed scaling, just to give us a little illusion here with the thingy. I'm not sure what it's called. Something which we really need, of course, is color ramp, which we're gonna plug in here, because a record is not white. So we're gonna go for that and just go for something pretty dark, not completely black, because we wouldn't see anything just a little grayish, like around here. So something that, which, of course, a uh, record has is some bigger lines on that, so we're just gonna take the whole thing and duplicate it. What about that? We have to make it a little bit more realistic. So we're gonna add bump, which of course we're gonna place somewhere here, place the normal in the normal, and the color into the height. And so now we can see it's looking way better as we are now currently faking depth that the lines are actually above the whole rest. Now of course we also have to make the second one, so we're gonna just pluck it here, we're just gonna steal everything here. And as you can see it's the same because we duplicated it, but it's of course way too big. So let's scale it down, we kinda want just very close ones, uh, so we really want just kind of big ones, so we're just gonna force something like four. I think this is looking good. Maybe maybe I have to change a little bit, but uh, yeah. So we have now a bit of the big lines here. But of course, uh, we're still using the one from the top, so it's kind of looking janky right now. So we're just gonna change that here. You can see now we have these big lines. Of course, it's not looking good alone, so we have to actually merge them to get one. So we're just gonna mix them. So we're gonna just pull that in here. We actually want to use the one from the top as it is the main one. And we just want to disconnect this one, put it in here, A and B, doesn't matter really where it is. And connect that into the height. That's looking good. So let's adjust the roughness a little bit, make it like be something like 0.3. Perfect, now we just kind of have to adjust the factor a little bit in order to make uh, the lines a little bit more. Let's scoot a little bit more in the favor of the big, big lines. Like, maybe not so much, but so that you can actually see them kind of well. This is looking pretty good, so we can actually see the lines now. Now, something that I completely forgot is we have to change this into saw. <laughs> so we actually get these links that actually are not really so defined, so we just have now bigger lines. And yeah, that's already it. Of course, you can change around with your setting. I th hope you liked it and maybe you could subscribe or something. I would appreciate that. So thank you. See you next time.